You excited, buddy? You excited? Because we love getting our hair cut. It's so much fun. At least half of it will be awesome. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Malia, and on today's video, I thought it'd be a really good idea to show you guys how to cut a little boy's hair. Hello, hello little boy. Yeah. <laughs> um, at home so you can save some money because it adds up super fast. And since I'm terrified to even like put scissors to his hair or even like. Done it? No, never done it. I thought I'd grab April. She runs the channel Hair 101 with April. Like, she's the expert. So, you have to subscribe to her channel, and she's gonna show us how to easily cut your little boy's hair so you can save money at home. So, let's get started. Okay, guys, so April is actually also going to dye my hair pink. Yeah, you heard me, pink. So, <laughs> make sure you head over to her channel and watch that, because I'm not gonna share it here. If you guys wanna see what it looks like, or maybe even do some of it yourself. You're gonna have to head over to her channel. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. It's gonna be fun. I'll link you guys to it in the description of YouTube if you don't know how to get to her channel too. I am not the type of person to be like anti-mom, cut your own kid's hair. I actually encourage it. I think it's great. Yeah. If you're willing to learn that skill, I say go for it and invest in the products to make it easier for you. Well, I feel like sometimes too, like I forget to make an appointment and then there's no appointment. And so then I'm like, they gotta get a haircut. Yeah, picture it. Oh my gosh, you gotta get a haircut where it's like, you know, Sunday or something and I'm like, oh my gosh, I mean, look how long his hair is. It's, yeah. it's, I mean, I left it growing. When I knew we were gonna do a video, I was like, hey, don't cut hair, don't cut the hair. And every time I was like, it's so long. Why don't you show us like what, like a mom, what a mom would go and buy or what we could buy that would be like the tools that we need. You do want to get a pair of hair cutting shears. You don't want to just use paper cutting shears or whatever because there's right. a huge difference. It will it will actually hurt your hand if you try to use regular scissors. Like I actually remember in fourth grade, I actually took a scissors to my bangs and I couldn't get them straight with regular scissors and they shorter and shorter and they literally were sticking out like that. So no, don't. don't do that. <laughs> so get a pair of hair cutting shears. You can go to Sally's and just get a pair. Obviously, you need to pick the pair that's in your budget, but go as nice as you can. The, the nicer you go, the easier it's going to okay. be to cut and stuff. This is a pretty right. basic and expensive And we're shear. thinking like we're like investing, right? So we're hoping we never have to cut or go pay for haircuts again, especially right. even more than one little boy. That if you have five little boys, yeah. then yeah, you're out like a hundred dollars <laughs> every every few weeks. Yeah, right? which is fine if you can afford that. It's yeah. like nice to just go and get it done. But if you need to learn how to do it yourself, then it's definitely worth the investment. And also, okay. this is a lifesaver: getting a pair of thinning shears, especially when you're learning, because you're gonna have like harsh lines in your haircuts when you first learn. I okay. guarantee it. And fine tooth are the ones that you want. Okay. And I'll link you guys in the YouTube description below some of the products that you recommend. Okay. And we'll have them in the YouTube description so you guys can just go to where she tells you to go and it'll save yeah. some time. So also, if you're doing little boy's hair, you're obviously going to need a pair of trimmers. How do you feel about like the $25 clippers or the $30 clippers? Like I said, they're, they're going to be a little bit slower at cutting and maybe catch a little bit more, but it'll get the job done. Okay. So you're going to want to get some if you're just starting out that have attachments. Right. Um, like the one, two, three, four, the attachments. This will make your haircut look a little bit more crisp around the edges. It's a T-edger. So you can get this, but if you don't, you can still do this with the clippers. So it's okay. kind of an optional. Okay. To say I'm a little intimidated would be an understatement at this point. <laughs> okay. So we have a one fourth of an inch attachment on here. It's like a two. So you always stand in front of where you work. That's really okay. important. You just kind of start at the bottom and you go up. And then when you get to where the head rolls, you kind of just flip it up like this. And that okay. blends it. So you see how I kind of just roll it up? And you go all the way up to where it starts. If you put your comb on it, it starts to separate. See the middle of the head? Okay. So now it's your turn. My face probably says it all like right about now. Up and flick. Am I doing it? Yeah. And if you need them to look down, you can say, you look, look at down. your tummy. You look at your tummy. There you go. Whoa, look down at your tummy. All the way, look at your tummy. You gotta look down, buddy. If you want to suffer later, you have to get down to do that. Yeah, and bribing is always a good <gasps> What? Tip. I said a sucker. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> so am I doing the flip thing okay? Yeah. Just go up. How you kind of go crisscross and then you go forward with this. Yeah. Okay, you see how this grows up? Mm hmm So you need to kind of go downward on that part. If your hair pits have like the swirly. Yeah, it does it doesn't cut it if it doesn't go against the grain. So you have to kind of 
Sometimes back here you're going like all kinds of ways. Right. I usually just go in with the tea edgers. And the first thing I do is a little sideburn. Okay. And the first one's pretty easy. How do you know where to put the sideburn? That's so the question. I usually do it as soon as the hair's thick. Okay. And sometimes it gets kind of straggly and thin. But I don't like taking it all the way off unless they have glasses that go that like right there. Okay. I like to leave it just a little bit to frame the ear. Okay. And then you just make an arch around the ear. This is the part I'm the most nervous about. Oh yeah. So then in here you can go in like this, but you just be really gentle because you don't want to pinch their skin with the blade. And then you can go in like this and clean up all those little long pieces. Okay, your turn. <laughs> And then I usually just peek at them from the front to make sure they're about the same. And if they're not, then you can adjust. Look at me. You ready? Close okay, so your eyes. Ah! Now we're going to put the scissors on here up on the top. And okay. this is broken down in a couple sections too. And what we're working on is just this middle part right here on the roll of the head all the way around. So I'm going to comb this hair into my fingers and you can see down here that short piece that's going to be our guide so you're going to take the scissors and just cut like that and it's okay that it's longer on top because we're doing like a mohawk and then you move your hands over a little bit and there's your guide and you cut so your ring finger goes in the one with the tang because you're pinky okay. so oh, turn ring finger. like this got it okay. and you stick your ring finger in there this oh, one? like this way Oh. Up here. This way. Yes. Now put your pinky on the tang. Like that. And now your thumb in. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, I know how to do this now. <laughs> Maybe we should make up like a song. So like, comb, um, grab, grab, thumb, cut. Well, Is it okay? Yeah. Um, cut. Good job. We're going to do a comb, put it in your thumb, cut. Good job palming. Holy cow, can you believe you're doing that? Like, I don't want, like, once I have his hair to look ugly. I mean, I know you'd fix it, but still. <laughs> so this line, you guys see it in right in here? Mm -hmm. You could take these thinning shears. They're blending shears, actually, too. And you just blend it in. We just need to trim a little bit of the top. And so you do, you just put it in a mohawk. Okay, we're going to pull it all up, and we're going to decide how much we want to cut off. Probably that much. Well, now that I know how to do this, I can yeah. make it shorter if I wanted to. Yes, you can. Huh. So now that you have that short middle part, mm -hmm. you have these two long tunnels that go in between. So now we're just going to connect those two by, see this short piece? Yes. That short piece? We're just going to go like that, all okay. the way back. When your head is heavy. So if you break it into those sections, you won't get lost. You'll be able to keep track of your haircut. And then this is a cool little trick too. If you feel like you've missed some spots because your fingers were too far mm -hmm. apart, you can go and cross check, and that's where you go, because we've been taking sections right. this way. You cross check by taking a section the opposite direction, and if there's any tall pieces, you can cut those off. Oh my gosh. You're totally doing it. I'm like totally shaking. <laughs> okay, not only am I learning how to do this, but I'm learning how to do it in front of all of you guys, so I really don't want to screw it up. <laughs> Another tip, don't cut past the second knuckle. Oh, okay. If you cut past the second knuckle, you can cut your flesh. And I would feel really bad because I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> On the front? Yeah. I always pull it forward okay. towards me and like flip it up. And then you're done. Can you believe you're that? You're done. And we did. And it looks great. You did a good job. What do you think? Mom, what do you think? You helped students. I cannot believe I did this. Yeah, yeah seriously. You did a good job. Well, it wasn't that bad. So when we originally were going to do this video, I thought, okay, she's just going to like show me how to use like the clippers and we're gonna do like a level four here and a level two here and it's gonna be super easy. That's what I was expecting. Yeah. And like I'm so glad you showed me how to do this because this is way easier than I thought. Do you feel like it looks a little bit better too than yes. like just buffing it? And way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. There you go. What do you think? The world you are the handsomest little boy in the world. We love it. <laughs> do you like mommy cutting your hair? Should I do it again? Yeah, should I yeah. do it again? Okay, everyone, that is your tutorial. April, you seriously rocked it. Thanks. Hopefully, it makes sense. Yeah, so good. <laughs> okay, make sure you subscribe to April and myself here on YouTube so you guys can get lots more money saving tips from me and more hair tips. You do like everything from like 
waxing to hair to like little girls hair curling yeah. all that kind of stuff and I know you guys will like the videos I've done on that so you're gonna love her stuff okay we're dying my hair pink <laughs> like no for real it's pink so make sure you click over right now I'm gonna link you guys to it right now you can click on it and head over to her channel so you guys can see me transform into pink hair it's gonna be cute it's gonna be fun okay thanks guys see ya Bye.